Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a very hard cataract. This is one of the hardest cataracts I have ever operated. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And this is a side port about 3 clock hours away from the main incision on the left side. Now, air bubble is injected. Underneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule to stain the capsule so that rexis can be done easily. This is adrenaline and now the dye is washed out. And now, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. Methyl cellulose is a very good viscoelastic substance and it can protect the corneal endothelium very well. And now, orexis. I am incising I'm going to incise the anterior capsule with a needle 26 case bent needle cystitome and get a flap and now I use a uterata forceps hold this capsule attack and do a big rexis size of this rexis is about 5.75 to 6 millimeter. In hard cataracts, when the cataract is so hard, we should do a large rexis like this. Nucleus management becomes easy. Nucleus management becomes possible if we do a large rexis like this. And now hydrodissection is done at multiple points injecting small amounts of BSS. The nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is mobilized and we can see that the nucleus is rotating nicely in this case. Again some more visco and now I'm going to try my technique submarine job. For that I expose the teeth a little more in this very hard cataract. And now the FECO needle goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. As I try to remove the superficial cortical lens matter, in this case some cortical matter was projecting into the anterior chamber from equator and it was causing some problem in visibility. And now I turn the handpiece to make the bevel up and as I do submarine chop, I bury the tip just in front of the main incision into the substance of the nucleus. Go through the nucleus for a distance. Ultrasonic energy being used is about 90% in this case and here I could not get a nice job in this case visibility was poor and I was having some problem in holding the nucleus so when 
I have failed with this. I tried to chop here. But again, I could not hold it firmly. So, my next attempt is go to FACO on mode where the vacuum is only 80 millimeter of mercury, flow rate is 20 and ultrasonic energy is 80 percent. And I make a deep crater at the center of the nucleus. So, I wanted to do submarine chop but now my strategy is to do crater and chop. Crater has been made and now I am chopping the nucleus into several pieces. From the deep crater I go into the substance of the nucleus, hold it and use the chopper to crack it. So many cracks and many pieces, about eight pieces were done in this case. And now each one by one the nuclear fragments were brought at the center of the anterior chamber and they were emulsified. I usually tilt the nuclear piece and start emulsifying from the apex. And now artesonic energy used in this case is 90 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury I could not do submarine chop I converted to crater and chop the crater and chop technique has been described by Dr. Gimbel And now the last piece and not last piece, two pieces. After emulsifying this piece as I go to the last piece, I ask my assistant to go to FICO 3 mode where the vacuum is only 250 and flow rate is 25 and ultrasonic energy is 70 percent and as I make the piece smaller I go to FECO on mode where the vacuum is only 80 80 millimeter of mercury flow rate is 20 and ultrasonic energy is 80 percent After such hard work, if we use high vacuum and catch the posterior capsule and make a rent, then we have to repent a lot. So better have patience and do it slowly. And now Visco is injected and I'm using this coaxial irrigation aspiration for removal of most of the cortex. Yes, most of the cortex has been removed. Only a bit of cortex, subincisional cortex is not removed. Now I use a 23 gauze Simco cannula after injecting a bit of visco go through the side port and remove the subincisional cortex. Yes. 
we are having very nice red glow in this case the microscope is Topcon's OMS 90 a basic microscope and the recording system is a beam splitter indigenous beam splitter and a Panasonic camera DSLR camera or Panasonic GS5 and there is an adapter for fitting the camera to the beam splitter and now this is hydro implantation of a uh, hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens the lens is nicely in the bag And now, this is the final lavage of the interior chamber. Whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed at this time. The bag is also irrigated and aspirate, aspirated for a while. The lens is nicely placed in the bag. The antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. When the cataract is very hard and the submarine chop fails, crater and chop technique is the is the way.